Hey guys, here we go into a breakdown and flow of the fight for Lomachenko versus Nakatani. Now, first off, what we're going to have happen is this is the last punch of the fight before they stop it. And Lomachenko's going to meet him on the line. And as he brings his weight there, Nakatani's going to do something he'd been doing all fight long. and try to control the space with his lead hand. And Lomachenko's going to hit him with the pull counter. He's going to be slipping that lead hand control and landing a huge left hand. Now, Lomachenko was landing these shots since the beginning of the fight. And it's because he was able to read Nakatani's rhythm. And he's able to slip to the outside of that jab over and over and over again. And Nakatani wasn't able to control the space with that jab. And once Loma was able to take that jab away from him, again, really early in the fight, he was able to land huge left hands over and over and over again. And now, as Lomachenko looks to slip to the front foot, Nakatani looks to start attacking him here. Now, that doesn't do him a lot of good because he's already allowing Lomachenko into this position, right? So now once Lomachenko gets his head to this position, he can just bring it with a punch here. As we can see here again, Lomachenko is able to not only be uh, countering that kind of jab or that lead hand control, but again, getting his weight to the front foot, allowing him to continue to be more and more offensive and more aggressive, fighting off of the lead hand control that uh, Nakatani present, uh, presents. So again, here it is. Uh, Nakatani trying to catch him with the body shot as he comes in um, and trying to control the space when Lomachenko gets his weight to the front foot. Again, just take a look at Lomachenko trying to bring his head to the front foot. And again, it's not like this was lost on Nakatani, like he didn't know what to do. It's just that Lomachenko was too good at taking away that jab and stopping him from being able to control the space with it at all. Now here we have, again, Lomachenko getting to that front foot. And when that lead hand comes out from Nakatani, Lomachenko is following him back and, and continuing to chase him and find him with those pendulum steps. As we see here again, he's going to do the same technique and follow that pendulum or follow that lead hand control back and land another cross. Again, Nakatani trying to get his weight out there and then getting followed on his way back, trying to set up his own attacks. Again, not really able to control the space with any of his punches. And again, the same technique from Nakatani getting countered over and over and over again. Now this time Lomachenko doing it just a little bit cooler with uh, lead hand control, controlling the lead hand as he comes back. So Nakatani comes forward, his weight comes back, and his hand comes down. And as his hand is coming down, Lomachenko is going to reach to control that hand to keep it from being able to interact with his line so that he can protect his straight left hand here. So he controls that shot, and now he's opened up enough space for him to land that shot. And again, he was able to do this kind of stuff to Nakatani on that timing all night long. Again, there you go, pull countering that timing again. And Nakatani just not very clever with the lead hand control. And now here, Nakatani with no lead hand control, nothing, and just being walked into punches, probe, probe, and then walked into a big shot there and another big shot there. Now, again, Nakatani wasn't completely oblivious. He would see these punches coming in the timing, and he would try to react, but Lomachenko, again, following that punch back and able to continue pressing uh, Nakatani because of his superior athleticism, his superior rhythm and timing. Um, it was just a beautiful, beautiful performance. Uh, vintage Lomachenko, vintage uh, Matrix, and again, decimating the jab. Now, Nakatani's last-ditch hope on the inside was to hold and tie Lomachenko up because he was getting dominated on the inside. But Lomachenko in the, set, in the fifth round was able to kind of figure it out and land a really big shot here and then another one to kind of drop uh, Nakatani for the first time. And now we can see kind of Nakatani's eye is getting swollen. And again, he's getting decimated on that timing as Lomachenko is just toying with Nakatani's jab here. And again, we're going to take a look at that clip one more time. That was a really good clip here. Again, that same timing, okay? As Lomachenko is coming forward and that, that lead hand is coming back, He's timing him, rolling under that shot, and following Nakatani back on the line. Now, another problem that Nakatani had, just real quick, he would get his weight stuck on the front foot, and he would get stuck pivoting there. And this happened to him over and over and over again, and he would wind up coming up in the same position and get hit by this left hand over and over and over again from Lomachenko. Again, it was a beautiful, beautiful performance. And again, as soon as Nakatani didn't have a jab anymore, uh, he started getting hit with bigger and bigger, bigger punches um, all the way up until Lomachenko was able to kind of time this lead hand control. Again, you can never abandon it. It's always important. Um, and the less that Nakatani uses it, the more danger he puts himself in, in spite of the fact that Lomachenko was able to time it um, as he's the superior ring technician anyway. 
Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the breakdown, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like a full breakdown, we're going to be watching it on Patreon uh, in just a few moments.